Frimpong. A bit more promising here. Razak made the run. Trem more tremendous work by Aze. Heading into stoppage time. The stadium, Barry. Yeah, there's uh, not many people, probably three, four thousand, but uh, it's a big stadium, it takes about 15 in all. But the big green boys, yes. It has been a pacey game between the two sides, Nigeria and Sierra Leone. I mean, look at the time Nigeria arrived for the tournament. I was expecting to have them complain of uh, being jet lagged, but that's not the situation at the moment. And that's the uh, block there that came in from uh, complain of uh, being jet lagged, but that's not the situation at the moment. And that's the uh, block there that came in from uh, again to the ball. He's down there moaning, but I'm telling you, there was a foul before that. And he's just giving him a... Oh, I see. OK, have that on the yellow card for our friend, Mr. Wellington. But that wasn't the free kick. The free kick was already given before that happened. Yeah. I, I, I look at Wellington, I think he's probably, what, a foot shorter? Oh, I mind you, his foot, foot does hit him in the head. Fair comment. But uh, he's about a foot shorter than actually... Uh, Eases. Oh dear. Well, I'm Can thinking the rebel. Listen to the head coaches and find out what to do. Yeah, so Leon have really given a good account of themselves. So at half time, it's Nigeria there. Flag off for offside here against uh, Wellington. And he thinks that Nigeria has the main man up front, but again, he has to get support from Rabiu Ali, who's just sitting right behind Edo. And so a lot of players will have to come in from the right wing that you expect uh, Peter and Nigeria to operate there. Nathaniel. Good play. And now it is uh, oh, lovely, lovely piece of defending there from Eze. He made himself know that the that was the moment again for Wellington to have uh, found a way behind this man to score. Yeah, he's played well though, isn't he, Eze? Although he got a yellow card, but uh, he did play well. He's, he's tall, he's big, he's in the way. He's uh, almost a bit of a cart horse, but he's there. He, you Coming from Eze and Adele here, so I'm, I'm really enjoying the Nigerian back four, where Okoro, often times will drift wide and make sure he gives a lot of option going forward, together with the Cavs. And those are the players who really made the difference. And didn't uh, they have to wait a long time for it in that opening game against Sierra Leone? That's the tall figure of Steven Eze. He's going to be imposing at the back, you fancy, for the Super Eagles. Here in uh, Ghana's central region, the Black Stars fans already making their way into the stadium for the game that follows against Guinea. Eze looks composed at the back. Surprised perhaps that he's still playing in Nigeria. I've been back in defence for this. Eze again, he's so impressive in the air. He arrived the previous day on Sunday, playing on Monday night here. That's the great skills from Mali. Referee says it's not a foul this time. Eze with the ball forward. Power that to from Akas. Samake. Challenge from Steven Eze. Quite a rough one on Mohamed Traore. I must say credit to these teams. So uh, we are seeing some attacking play. The start of a grueling group campaign with that challenge. Uh, they are giving us uh, some good entertainment. 18 minutes in. Well, initially, I thought they were a bit. Uh, that could actually hurt. Uh, you could actually hear the scream of the player then. Yeah. That was rough. Kida, the centre forward for Mali. 
Not getting much of the balls so far. Badele and uh, Eze. Male. Scraps for it with uh, Okoro. Throwing for Nigeria. Long ball from Samake. Well, credit to Eze, he's done a good job in defence for Nigeria. See, I think the second half, I've seen Okoro be more defensive. He's joined the attack very little. And so he quite promising. Salime, the substitute. Kone is in the middle. Past his man, Salime. Over the head of Kone. Male there. Steven Eze. It's very high. It's not going to go very far up the field, but uh, Eze, Saxili National. Coming up live here from the Cape Coast Stadium in just over an hour from now. This could be the final move of the match. But on by Safa. Kobina pressing on. He was looking for Ando. Frimpong now with a bit of room to go forward himself. He's overplayed that slightly. And he felt that challenge, and that was... He's a big, strong boy, Eze, isn't he? And he... And Frimpong again has been a bit... Yeah, Dodger, this should be a yellow card at the first door. Look at it. Well, it should be, no doubt. I have to agree with you about that. He left Nigeria, are good to go at the chat competition. If he loses, it makes it a bad team. Results dictate the fate of managers. So was that a foul throw by Ando? Nigeria certainly thought it was. Here goes Corbina, but it's only a little glimpse of what he's about. Ghana need to get on with it. And still concerned for the man who, the stricken man, on this leave, you know, when you have qualified before going into a game like this. But the question is, what is the knock-on effect of the injuries and the fact they perhaps sustain a defeat tonight? Frimpong. A bit more promising here. Razak made the run. Trem more tremendous work by Aze. Drone should have spoken or communicated better with uh, Steve. Skill, skilled midfielder. Eventually, that move breaks down. And Nigeria will have to build again. Eze. Find Tosas who loses possession. And that is Gomez. But this time, the skill for Gomez doesn't work out. And superbly. Well, eventually he gets it to Al Hassan Ibrahim, but didn't want to commit a foul, so he quickly allowed the ball to go. That is easy, but he manages to get the ball to Ode, whose pass is not the very best, and Bene come away with the ball. They just can't. What I think so normally also see about the Ghanaians is that you. You sometimes see he's to play centrally or sometimes on the wing when the, the ball is up. Carbona, it is. Wait for Carbona. Goes to the right. Carbona. And again, well blown by Steven Eze. Good stoppage by Samuel Sapo. Looking to find a run over Waja. Four headed back. Samuel Steven Sapo here. Uh, who want to come in and add some bite to the player of the Ghanaians and Salis Yusuf looking to get some a bit of a answers to what is happening here. Free kick to Ghana. Yeah, substitution about to take place. It's quite a good one, I think. He's not happy uh, about the substitution, but it's going to be Waja Gideon, who's actually, I think, going to come off. And it will be... Oh, 
Chris would have got happy about. Mind you, at the end of the day, he's a big man, is he? He's a big... As the Mexican wave goes around us. There's a... Gets it back to... Uh, Ariwa Chuku. And Nigeria... Taking the ball just in front of the Ghana goal area. And it has to be cleared away. Good control, the Super Eagles of the... He find himself up front on his own. Although, of course, you have also had this young little Patrick Razas. The little dynamo that got that... Pit. Run up. Winning back to search it easily. Sample. And uh, here's a thought he won the ball correctly. But that wasn't the story there from the referee. I never know why players complain that the referee gives that a free kick against you. Really do need to get themselves back into this match. Here's the little fellow, the captain. He's played well. Set. Gives it away, though, now. Niger still with their tracksuit tops on. Been superbly maintained. Steven Eze, 21 for Nigeria. This tall defender has a national team cap already. But for Nigeria, none of the foreign base stars like Victor Moses in the lineup. It's the low. Eze concedes here. Eze heads that forward. 11 minutes, or 12 minutes into the game. Eze was fouled, says the... Yeah, Yusuf with the high boots. Well, Eze is involved in a lot of the play, gets uh, talking to from the ref. He really is a giant, is uh, Stephen Eze. Fourth offside for Nigeria in 25 minutes of play. Eze heads it forward. Eze with his height, he's going to win everything in the air, isn't he? All the way back to Kalu, Steven Eze. Eze shakes against the Nigerian opposition. Sako. Eze is commanding at the back. Only 21 years old, Akas. Tem sido a equipa mais esclarecida nesta fase inicial do jogo. Agora com este lançamento longo, procura. Como estava lá mais adiantado, com a Zlati. Vem um corte. E já vemos uma Nigéria que sabe mais do terreno. Tunisia, that possession earlier on. Nigeria looking dangerous, but here comes Akaichi. He's got pace. Akaichi. Ahmed Akaichi. Ahmed Akaichi. Já conseguiu o espaço para o remate. Bola ainda a ser travada ali. The defenders get in the way, but a lovely run from Ahmed Akaichi. Take it short. O presidente anterior. O tapete canto saiu e ficou a meio do caminho. O gol da partida é interessante. So they took the corner short. Really short the cross. Uh, and the he's made contact with the... on B. Well, that's well Tunisia. By Tunisia. Oh, shot on the mais uma intervenção do guarda-redes. With the save. Volta a estar muito bem aqui. É Zenwa. He definitely will be looking for a big, big win. Bucks are thinking about that. Here's Frimpong, and he's onside. 
Centre backs did pretty well then for Nigeria. Well, good run there for Frimpoy. Never stop. Hit the ball straight into the goal area. composed and really look at the half chance they had again the goalkeeper had to stand tall oh, he's got some few couple of chances though but back in nigeria he picked up uh, the goal king award i'm not too sure lobby stars maybe that lost it uh, though but was able to get it back with a win against guinea Safo. not quite well, i just saw where it was going countries Nigeria occasionally trying to prove and be more adventurous up front uh, the Ghanaians have had to restrict their play Ado made the run inside and here goes Kobini now beginning to wake up can go both ways although he likes to have the ball on his left peg but when he plays well Ghana play well yeah Paul, did you see where he was afraid and he moved into the central row and but again, the target man, uh, the uh, goal area will be Adelia Lee and Eze. Watch them out. They always